Well, this weekend, the Albuquerque Animal Welfare Department is hosting a National Pit Bull Awareness event, and it's all in an effort to bring positive awareness through free education, resources, and of course, products. Here with more on the National Pit Bull Awareness Campaign and this weekend's event, we have Program Manager and Behaviorist for yes. the Animal Welfare Department, Carolyn Hidalgo. Hi. Good morning, Carolyn. Good, Good morning. to see you again. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by. So we've been talking about this pretty much through the month of October, mm -hmm. Pitbull Awareness. It's, yes. We're coming, I cannot believe we're coming to an end. I know. My goodness, let's revisit how significant uh, Pitbull Awareness Month is. Okay, we have been very, very busy over the past yeah. month, and we have been celebrating it every weekend. So this weekend will be our finale. Okay, and, and you guys have done like pretty much anything you can think of, especially classes, special yes. sessions, yes, to educate folks who are owners of pit bulls and those perhaps that are not, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we've talked about this before. There's a lot of misconceptions out there yes, about there is. the breed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to garner really positive media attention to show how amazing these pit bulls can actually be. So we've offered free manners classes, mm -hmm. a really fun tra training class, and um, have given so many behavior consults and trained well over 100 pit bulls. And this has been a free, these have been free sessions? They're completely free. That's what amazes me is all month long, you guys have been yes. able to provide mm -hmm. uh, this type of education mm -hmm. for free. Yeah, we have a wonderful training team and they've done a great job. We've had a huge turnout at all of our training mm -hmm. events. And so we've been able to educate a lot of pit bull owners. What would you say, I mean, not to put you on the spot, Carol, Carolyn, but if what would you what would probably be the biggest misconception out there with pit bulls? Well, pit bulls have gained a lot of negative media attention in the past. And what people don't know is they really are America's dog. And they have been nanny dogs in the past. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, through fighting and stigmatism, they've gained this bad reputation. We've but also had a lot of people that have been up to no good and mm -hmm. have specifically wanted right. to these dogs to fight. Yes, it's so, unfortunate. Yeah, so a, a lot of times, you know, you <laughs> gotta you gotta keep things in perspective, and it it's not so much the dogs. Are, are, are dangerous dogs mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. the time or what, what have you, but a lot of times people out there just may not be doing the right thing right, with right. The, these specific dogs. And so we hope to um, help those people and educate them to be really responsible pit bull owners. Okay. Let's yeah. talk about this weekend's event. Yes. It's, is, it, is it the last weekend? It is the last oh weekend okay. and it's going to be nas na nationwide and here okay. in Albuquerque we are going to give free spay and neuter coupons. So free spay and neuter free coupons, spay and neuter this coupons. weekend. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, is this happening at all shelters or do we have we have what? East side, west side? Yes, east side, west side okay. and our Lucky Paws in Coronado Center. And Lucky Paws. Right. Okay. We are also offering free microchips. Wow. And a free enrichment class. And as well as many other free behavior consults. And if mm -hmm. you bring your pit bull, we can even help you with one on one training. That's fantastic. Yes. You, you know, you can't you can't beat that. I know you brought a little basket in. Yes. What do we have here? What are what are some examples of some Okay, of these so that you some in? of these are enrichment items okay. and they're really things that um, owners can use so that they keep their pit bull entertained throughout the day and not to chew on shoes, not to chew on couches, and really help them not to be bored. We've got toys. Is that peanut butter that I see? It in is there? peanut butter. What is that for? Is that to actually give? Well, box? actually, you put it into a Kong, you put it into some food puzzle toys, and, and um, it gives it. them something to chew on. And it's yeah. a really natural thing for dogs to do, to want to chew on items. Obviously, peanut butter is Obviously, awesome. and peanut butter frees it, and it's amazing. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, good work this month. Thank you. Hope you can go out there. Again, all of the information about this weekend, a lot of free stuff, sessions, yes. uh, spray and neuter, microchip, you name it. Uh, October 25th, it's happening 1030 to 1230. East Side Shelter, West Side Shelter, Lucky Paws, all of this information on our website, krqe.com. Thank you.